Kwame is uh he's digging into this internet thing. You know, he's taking off kind of the way Kevin Samuels did. I noticed that when Kevin Samuels, Kwame's calling this out and I love it. And the reason I'm making this point is because I don't want him to lose his platform. They might take his channel down. They might take his channel down. If niggas like you let them, it's sad. But Dr. Boyce, I told you, and I told all of you, mama's cooking is watching. Hey, what's going on, black people? Uh, my name is Dr. Boyce Watkins, and uh, I, I had a thought I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, I hope that it's uh, taken with the spirit that it's intended. Um, it has to do with Kwame Brown. You know, Kwame Brown has, uh, I mean, this brother has set the internet on fire. Um, he is uh, calling people out, breaking things down, um, you know, doing some real interesting stuff. And I, I really enjoy watching it kind of happen. Um, I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. And I know a lot of people uh, are into it right now. Uh, he's probably the most talked about person on the internet. I mean, Kwame Brown is a guy that um, I didn't think much about him, to be honest with you, until recently, until all this started happening. I knew of him, like a lot of people did, because of his play in the NBA. Uh, but, you know, I, I, it seemed to me that the whole, you know, idea of being called a bust for 20 years, uh, it, it's unfair, and I can see how stressful that could be. But uh, but here's the interesting thing, right? I want to share this thought about the whole Kwame Brown situation. But um, I can tell you that I've observed in terms of watching Kwame. I started watching a lot of his videos and, uh, you know, and I mean, it's good. It's really interesting stuff. And and uh, and I agree with a lot of it. I mean, I'd never Jamel Hill. I've always thought Jamel Hill was full of shit. Uh, Stephen A. Um, I'm about I'm about, you know, I'm about 40, 60 on Stephen A. You know, sometimes he, uh, he's fine, but other times he gets on, you know, stuff he does gets on my nerves. Um, you know, um, kind of point out a couple of thoughts that I had about Kwame. <clears throat> There's literally nothing that I need you to do with this information. It's just me. I like to think. I, I'm a thinker, right? And uh, and I'm a, an observer and a watcher, and I like to see it which way the wind's blowing. And here's the thing about Kwame that's really interesting. Kwame is, uh, he's digging into this internet thing. You know, he's taking off kind of the way Kevin Samuels did. I noticed that when Kevin Samuels, three people I think about that just blew up on the internet just quickly uh, were Kwame, Kevin Samuels, and also that rapper Takashi 69 You know, he, he was the guy that did, did all the snitching. And one thing I noticed is that all of them <clears throat> figured out like what the formula was. They saw that everybody was going crazy and it was, uh, you know, it, that they were getting 10, 20, 30,000 people watching their lives. So each of them kind of had a formula and each of them started milking the cow, you know, making a ton of content and all that. Like Kevin Samuels goes live probably three, two, three times a day, it seems like. And uh, and he's good. He's damn good at what he does. Takashi, when uh, Gummo came out <clears throat> where he was pretending to be a gangster and uh, and it worked really well. Next thing you know, every video sounded like Gummo. And then uh, with Kwame, Kwame, Kwame loves, he loves going online. You know, he loves having this platform and I'm happy for the brother. I really am. It's no uh, no problem with it at all. I mean, it's, it, you know, I'm sure people are scrambling and very upset that he's not owned and controlled by anybody. And that's what makes people like that very dangerous, right? If you have a guy that's smart, that sees what's going on, that cares about black people and isn't scared to say what needs to be said, and there's not a white guy that can pick up the phone and control him, then that's a dangerous black man. Now, now with that said, though, here's what I'm observing with Kwame, and this is what my warning, actually, in terms of uh, where this is going to go. Kwame is uh, is is powerful because he's a populist. Um, I heard him literally use the term "we the people," right? And uh, that's a populist kind of sentiment, you know. And, and, and populist energy that that is the kind of energy that you have behind uh, the, like the summer protests with Black Lives Matter. But the uh, the other thing about Kwame that's interesting is uh, the way he challenges the black elite. He talks about the black elite that's on TV and speaks that honest truth that we've always talked about on this platform that a lot of times the worst ideas get out to the black community because the Negroes on TV care nothing about actually going in and building for the community. Uh, and the reason they don't is because if they do that, they'll be punished. They'll be taken off the platform and replaced by somebody who plays ball. So the, uh, as he calls the go along, get along, go along to get along gang basically is, uh, and this is one of the reasons why I don't really answer the phone most of the time when black celebrities reach out to me. So I like the fact that Kwame appears to be somewhat independent. I like when he says, you know, look, you invited me on your show. I don't want to go on your show. Right? But, but one little thing about Kwame's platform too, that I think, um, that, I, that I'm just observing. So peep this out. I'm worried that his channel is going to get taken down. I worry that they're going to come and get his YouTube channel. And the reason is this, 
first of all, you already got the black elite going crazy. They they gonna get lawyers and shit on you. They got buddies at YouTube and all this other shit. So they they gonna I think they gonna they gonna pull every string they possibly can because they are mortified of what this guy's doing. Uh, but the second piece is I saw one of his videos that he did today, and the title of the video in the title he used the N word. Right. He used, you know, I, I see y'all in words talking. Right. I'm trying not to use the N word. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do better. And here's the thing. They can technically define that to be hate speech. You know, if, if a white guy pay attention now, listen to me. You know, I want you to really hear me. Now, don't before you get mad. If a white guy went on YouTube right now. And made a video and in the title, he put. I see you in words, you know, N-I-G-G-A-S. I see you in words talking. Give me a yes or no. Do you think that they will be able to take that video down or take down that channel? If 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 he if, if a white guy had a video with that title, do you think that his channel would be at risk of being taken down? Give me a yes or no. Right. So my warning to Kwame as his brother supporting him. Again, I'm, I'm a net supporter of Kwame. I, I think the black elite need to be called out. Y'all know I've been down with Dr. Claude Anderson and all this other stuff. So every a lot of the stuff he's saying, y'all know I, we've been saying this for years. So these are things that we believe in completely. I'm glad more people are saying these things. Kwame's calling this out, and I love it. And the reason I'm making this point is because I don't want him to lose his platform, right? But at some point, somebody might come in there, a YouTube executive might come into a meeting and say, Okay, this video's cut, you know, got the N word in the title, and he's using the N word left and right all throughout this video. Are we just protecting him because he's black? Because this actually, now pay attention now, this connects to a point Kwame himself made. Kwame himself made this point about white media. This is only for critical thinkers here. Dumbass people aren't going to get this point, but, but smart people will understand what I'm saying here. He made a point about Steven Jackson, and he said, um, You know, you made all these threats to me, sir. You said these things about me, sir. You you said you 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 had all the smoke for me, sir, and uh, and they were okay with that because you were coming after a black man. If you were a white guy, if you were a white guy, you'd be getting fired for that. Does anybody remember him saying that? If you've been watching Kwame, you remember him saying that because I've been studying the brother, and 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 so so that point that he made to point out that racial double standard in white owned media is the same racial double standard that might actually protect his channel because if he were a white guy using the n-word in his titles and using the n-word in every other sentence his shit will be gone like that so don't think that there are not elite people that are trying to find any little loophole to get rid of him so what i would encourage your brother to do if he ever called me and of course if he's watching and sees this video no nah, man i don't need mama's cooking i got a mama my mama knows how to cook too i got a woman that knows how to cook so i don't need mama's cooking but if you want to give it to me i, I don't give a shit uh, my point is that 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 you got to protect your channel, man. You got to protect your platform, bro. And uh, and again, if he wants to ever come on this channel, I'd invite him in. I don't, I don't give a shit. I, I don't. I'm not threatened by other ideas, right? Even if I disagreed with him, I would still invite him in because it sounds to me like he's trying to do the right thing, and uh, it sounds to me like he's B1. Um, and uh, and I'm not going to disrespect another B1 soldier. So so critiquing something or pointing something out for somebody's benefit. Is not the same as being a hater. And it I just got a question, sir. You got Mar at home, boy. I did, ain't it? Uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. See, I knew this was gonna happen. See, I knew a lot of the uh, educated folk was gonna be upset with me. And I knew a lot of, probably everybody gonna be upset with me because my life story debunk a lot of narratives. And when you hear a man speak like me, after you done kicked him in his ass for 20 motherfucking years, he still sounds strong like this. <laughs> I probably ruffled a lot of goddamn feathers. So, let me pick my big ass face up on this camera. <laughs> so, I just have to ask my brother, you for the people, right, Dr. Boyce? Now, why would you get on a live show without reaching out to me or anything or email or something. It's almost like you're giving them the playbook to take down my channel. You've said that over and over again, and that's the new narrative now. They're going to take down the channel. They're going to take down the channel. Instead of it being we the people and bringing your people in, 
that's follow you and saying, you're not going to take down this channel because the people have spoken and they like this dude. And we're tired of hearing the same narrative from people like you, sir, that you talk a lot, you get paid a lot. Where are the results, sir? See, I'm a result nigga. You can call me whatever you want to call me. Your opinion don't mean nothing to me. But what I'm saying is, I'm a result of what happens. I'm a walking, breathing example of a free thinker. You can't debunk nothing I'm saying with your talking. Because my life said you a motherfucking lie. And my mama's cooking told me so. So instead of you trying to dox a brother on the sneak tip, sir, and the rest of you YouTubers that tell me, oh, they gonna take your channel down. How you gonna take your channel down? Why don't you saying, why aren't you speaking power? You always talking about powernomics. Talk like you got some power. We not gonna let his channel go get down. You ain't even talking about the, the, the things that I'm saying out of my mouth, sir. It's sad. You buck dancing and belly aching too. That don't sound like strength to me. They might take his channel down. They might take his channel down. If niggas like you, let them. It's sad. But Dr. Boyce, I told you, and I told all of you, mama's cooking is watching. So why you on your live telling them the blueprint on how to take my channel down because of a technicality? I noticed it's a technicality go along, get along game. Because of a technicality that I used the N-word that I changed to brothers. Yeah, it's changed now to brothers. Go look it up. Thank you for the tip, though. Salute you for that. Uh -huh. Do your powernomics and all that talking that never changed nothing. You know, the brother, black brother, who that's hitting on YouTube and send me the donation. Mama's cooking. The more y'all talk, the more y'all gonna expose y'all self. I have done nothing but come to YouTube, speak the truth, and allow people to eat off my mama's cooking. And that's more than your loud talking ass ever done. And somebody proved me wrong with the results and not talking. Is it my go, son? Yes, sir. <laughs> mama's cooking. What happened to our elders? What happened to our elders? I was raised by an elder. And you know what he didn't do? He didn't dox a man. He didn't get on camera. He didn't stand on a man's shoulders. If he had no way of contacting you, he said nothing. He didn't get on camera and fake like he helped him. He said nothing. I know why you're talking, Doc. Because all that talking ain't never showed no results. And you scared just like everybody else scared. So you'll give a fake ass. Oh, I was just worried. And yeah, you worried about you. I'm worried about the people. That's why my YouTube page is open for people to use my video. Do you know how much money I could make if I just tell people to stop right now? You don't have no results behind what you're talking about. You're just talking. I got results. So I respectfully, sir, the next time you want to help me and anyone else that feels like they want to help me, if you can't get in contact with me, please don't go over your airwaves and say anything that could potentially be used against me, sir. I think you're a doctor and I think your education level is respectable enough to know better. So I'm going to hold you accountable for your education level that you should have known better than do that. So I'm gonna look at you like I thought I should, cause I told you, mama seasoning is watching. And mama cooking don't care nothing about because the people like you. But what the people don't know is that I'm the guy that's gonna show you results, not talking and begging for money or asking allegedly, begging allegedly in my opinion I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm just different. So you and the bourgeoisie, y'all might want to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I done told you now.
Mama season is still watching. I knew the bourgeoisie and the educated was gonna come. I seen the disrespect that you older gentlemen give these young men. Yeah. I seen a young brother with a double neck. I was waiting on him next. With a double neck talking bad about an army veteran that started schools and trying to help the people. And instead of you filling in and being an elder and helping him, you wanna have the look at me show. You wanna compare notes. Look what I do. Why you wanna talk about this? Why don't, why don't you talk about what the fuck you wanna talk about and let that other grown man talk about what the fuck he wanna talk about. And as long as we all are a chain on this bicycle, cause no one link is important than the other. You break one motherfucking link, the bike don't go. So there's, much, there's plenty links in the chain. See, I thought you elders knew that. But y'all don't have that. Y'all want to have a look at me show. Y'all want to go get pretty degrees, talk so goddamn loud, talk so fast, and everybody's supposed to believe you because you're an expert, right? 